Yep, we're at the cathedral. Hey guys, greetings from the National Cathedral where I am checking out a brand new camera. My Sony a7 IV has just arrived. Thank you Santa Claus and more importantly Mrs. Santa Claus. Anyway, today's a pretty boring day. Let's uh, go for a walk down to the museums, see if anything's going on in the mall. So my new camera has about 10,000 features. I mean, literally, I have no idea how this works. So I'm actually gonna probably stop at a camera shop, firstly, to get a, uh, not a filter, but something to protect the lens, and then just talk shop and see what sort of what sort of accessories I should be buying for this camera. Should be kind of exciting. Okay, so now we've switched back to the DJI Osmo Pro, which will be a little bit different view. I'm actually gonna take a short scut uh, through the cathedral, through this uh, school. I have a little courtyard back here, and it lets you uh, cut through the school. Now, you can't do this during school days. There are police and everything, and it's kind of closed off, and it's, you know, a little weird to walk through a school. But the kids are away right now, which means I can check out this beautiful old building from the inside. All right, there's not much going on in Washington today, to be honest. It's a pretty quiet day. But uh, we'll take you down to the White House, maybe get a hot dog, it's been a while, and maybe go up to the Capitol. We'll just try to find something to report on. Uh, this is one of the cafeteria tents with COVID. They can't have all the kids in the traditional cafeteria. That's the Marriott building. The Marriott family, the Marriott brothers, uh, they went to school here as kids and donated a building. Pretty nice. All right, we're gonna come up back behind this Greek Orthodox Cathedral and make our way downtown, if we can find a bike. I think I hear an ambulance down on Rock Creek Parkway, crisscrossing across the city. It has been a really bad day for the DC Fire Department. Uh, yesterday and today. Let's see if we can see the ambulance. Nope, we don't. So yesterday, approximately 20% of the fire department was out on COVID protocols. Either they were sick or they'd been exposed to someone who was sick. As a result, there were basically no ambulances available uh, all over the city. In fact, they sent the uh, ambulance supervisors to all the hospitals to help turn around the ambulances and get them back into service as fast as they could because firemen were waiting half hour, hour, even longer to get medical care for the patients they were dealing with. Real disaster yesterday. Oh, here it is. It's this truck. What the sus? What are they doing? Wait a moment. No, that is the foam unit. That is the TAU, the twin to agent unit. Number two, number one is down by the White House. Well, this is also there, but he's heading up to the vice president's house and he's got his brakes on. And is he turning to go into the vice president's place? Or is he going past him? I think he's turning to go, he is turning. That would mean that we might have a foam truck behind us, which would mean we have a helicopter. This is foam unit one. This is the uh, foam unit they use for the White House, too. Hello. I just noticed this is the South African Embassy, and the flag is at half staff. Must be for Desmond Tutu, who passed away this week. While this is a statue of Mandela, people have actually left flowers, probably for Tutu, maybe for Mandela. Hey guys, we just got the call. Nighthawk 2 is inbound from RFK Stadium to P-56 Bravo, which is the vice president's uh, restricted airspace. They called out multiple landings, which means they're doing landing practice. So let's go watch some helicopters for a little bit, and then we'll go down to the White House. One RFK, no two, P-56 Bravo, multiple landings. 
Mark 1-2, watch in tower, watch off 2989 approved. 2989, Night 1-2. They took off to the north. Now it looks like they're gonna do a north approach landing, coming in from the north and the west. Usually they come in from the east because that's where Andrews Air Force Base is, but you know, sometimes they might wanna go the other way. Let's see how this looks.
off before I could get on my, my fire hydrant. I could stay here all day and watch it come in and out. It's kind of cool, but I have other stuff I have to do today. So we're gonna abandon the VP's house, make our way down to the White House. Maybe we'll catch a flyover one more time, but uh, let's get on downtown. Well, that was fun, a little bit too much fun. But I, I actually, I really do have stuff to do and it's almost dark now because I've been sitting outside, standing on a fire hydrant, watching a helicopter for like an hour. <laughs> All right, let's get downtown. 589713, yeah, that's got a 19 mile range. Let's take this sucker. Bicycle is unlocking. It's mine. No, the green light actually went on this time. Pull it out of its rack. Now, we're going to a camera store. Um, yes, I could get this little gadget that I need off of Amazon, but you know, I want to support these local camera shops. And I, you know, a lot of the media guys try their best to support these local camera shops rather than Amazon or the big box stores so that they always have that option of uh, getting supplies in a hurry locally. So if I gotta pay a small premium, I will. Yes, this is it. The post office sorting facility. That also happens to be the birthplace of Duke Ellington. The famous American jazz musician was born right here. Well, not when it was a post office, 
but when it was his uh, mother-in-law or his grandmother-in-law's house or something like that, his grandmother's house, his father's mother-in-law, that's right, his mother's mother's house. He was born right here on this little side street in downtown Washington, D.C. He lived all over the city. There are probably like six or seven houses that are, quote, the Duke Ellington house in Washington, D.C. I've shown you some up in the Shaw neighborhood, but this was where he was born. All well, those bike racks are empty. Nobody's brought a bike back, but uh, I think there's a bike rack even closer to the place. Over there where it says pizza and hamburgers. That's Duke's, Duke's Grocery, which has got pretty good burgers. A little pricey, but they're good. So this is 2000 Pennsylvania Avenue. It's sort of a mall next to George Washington, known as Western Market, and this is Pro Photo. And this is a photo shop inside this little mall. And this is where all the journalists and photojournalists and videographers in DC, they can come down here to get repairs, used equipment, stuff like that. It's a pretty good place. Alrighty, let's go to the White House. Let's get across the street. Mm, pretty quiet. A bit more tourist today than normal. That's Dodge Duck Dick Dive and Dodge. Blair House. And here we are at the White House where it's pretty chill today. Tours taking pictures with Secret Service and the Truth Conductors rocking out his music, doing everything he can. This guy's taking a selfie. He's having fun. Those vehicles are up there in the lawn, which is pretty standard. And we're going to have to go mute for a few seconds while Truth Conductor plays his music. United Rentals, and there is another one of those moving trucks still here. So what I was saying before I heard the truth conductor is that I just saw some Christmas decorations over at the West Wing. My theory about the trucks was that they were removing the Christmas decorations, but there are still some here. So maybe that explains why there's still another truck. They're still selling Christmas ornaments. Oh boy, I better just walk. Fast if I just get off the bike and not kill anyone. It's still Christmassy time. Mm, come to butthead. Been busy today? Uh, so so. So so? A lot of tourists out. Trigger warning. So the woman said business is so-so. There's a lot of other food trucks today because there's a lot of tourists, so. Such is life. Look at all the hot dog options I had today. I had hot dogs, cooked hot dogs, uncooked hot dogs. Ew, hot dogs with chili, uncooked hot dogs with chili. So many options. Oh, there's a fire truck. Engine 13, that's the one that usually is at the White House for, fire, for helicopters. Here comes the ambulance. Ah, that's a reserve ambulance. So I hear the drums of a busker. Let's go down and see what sort of plastic tubs he's playing tonight.
go to this green light down here. And I give you a better view of the Lincoln Memorial anyway. Ah, but the light is turning green, so I've got a kind of boogie. There's a bunch of kids in front of me. Now we get around the kids. So that's probably the helicopter we saw earlier today. Going back to Anacostia over the Jefferson Memorial. What a beautiful night. Now, I should note, the camera makes it look much bluer than it really is. It's actually pretty gray and dark, but still, it's beautiful. Motorcycle gang of nerds. <laughs> scootering around all right let's get down to the Lincoln that that sidewalk looks pretty crowded we'll go down the tree-lined sidewalk remember I did this in the spring and in the spring it was like a bug fest hundreds thousands of bugs a little better now now it's a scooter fest wow it's actually pretty crowded down here tonight Up we go. Another busker on a saxophone this time. Ooh, here we go. Out onto the promenade around the Lincoln. Beautiful night. And just see Abraham Lincoln inside. One of the hidden secrets of this memorial, this monument, is it's probably the most romantic monument of all in Washington, D.C. And at nighttime, well, well, some people get really romantic. They, like, get a little romantic. The Rangers have told me some stories like, whoa. <laughs> anyway, if you do come to Washington, come to the memorial, come to the monument at nighttime, the Lincoln Memorial. It is gorgeous.